Well, it's March Day 3 at the African Cup of Nations and for the spikes of Nigeria, they have millions of reasons to celebrate. What better opportunity to celebrate than an opportunity to tame the African wild dog, which is the Guinea-Bissau. Let's not forget 100 appearance for the Spire, 100 match for the Spikes of Nigeria at the African Cup of Nations. They won their match against the post Ivory Coast at the second game of the fixture, which of course makes this match a must win for this group of Spikes of Nigeria if they have to go top of the table for this um, for group A. Nigeria. Okay. Let's say two one. Okay. Yeah. Who will score? I don't know. Okay. But Nigeria will win two one. You guys going to win for sure. What's your score line? Two zero. Two zero. Who will be scoring? Will Osime score? Osime and um, Chuku uh, Chuku is it? Nigeria going to win two zero. Two zero. Who will yeah. score? Uh, Osime will score another another defender. Nigeria will be the people who drew goes to one. Oh, so who do you think will score? Will Osime will score. Alex, you will be like. Osime is going to score. Okay. Yes. What's the full time score? Uh, I, I can't say about that. Okay, don't know, you don't know the full time score, know. but Osime will score. Osime will score. Two one, one penalty. <laughs> I'm a scorer. I'm a player. I'm a scorer. I'm a player. I'm a scorer. I'm a player. i so what do you think for that? Well, the midfield is there is no creativity, there is no hold in that midfield. It's zero. Everyone is there. There is nothing. It should just stop there in the second half, and it should get better. Today's game is not better than the last game. Uh, you know, so. They are playing better. Like, and this they think they will score more in the second half. Yes, they are going to score. The midfield is not getting us one way. I think they expect. So, uh, well, we, we expect a little change in the midfield. If I get a change in the midfield, and the seamer is getting the ball, definitely the second half will be better. They play on the game when you play like that. But midfield is for Kyoto. So, half of the play you. So, that's why we the second half. So, coach, we have to change. So, we have change. So, midfield is not going to be. We have to hold the ball. We're going to keep going. So, our passes are long passes. So, because the keyboard is on the left, you're lucky. Touches are you can go and judge it. The coach lacks tactical discipline. And then the, I would not say because the quietness, quietness of the team, that will, let us not, let us remove that. But the boys, they tried, but the coach, no tactics. I'm, I'm really happy, but I'm also disappointed. Because the ones that is just normal way to me. Because if we keep playing the way we are playing like this, I don't think we can go far uh, from the round of 16. I don't think we can go forward than the round of 16. Nigeria did not play well. But Nigeria did not have a good creative, uh, creative play figure. We lack, we lack, Nigeria is not tactically sound. There are still some a lot of things that the team is like. They don't have creative midfield. And because they don't have creative midfield, it's what is affecting the striker. With between the midfield and the striker, there is a little, uh, a little bit uh, distance between them. So if they can work on that, they will get more better. <laughs> To Idea, and of course, Nigeria won against, against Guinea Bissau by one goal to nothing. It's a crappy win. The fans, some are happy, some are not happy. But then, who is next? 